when you hear the word stereotype your mind instantly thinks of the obvious ones like how out of six guys four of them have cheated and when you scale it up a little and do some quick maths you realize that out of 40 married men in lagos 30 of them are currently cheating do you know what that means your husband is cheating on you divorce him right now i am far away from the mic but your husband is cheating on you his name is Emeka. But well, you guys must be wondering, why am I talking so much about stereotypes? This is why. Devil in the Details is a movie that caught my fancy while I was scrolling through the Airtel TV app. And why I saw this movie was because I was looking for anything that would remind me of the old days of Nollywood. Even if this movie was definitely made in Ghana, I was extremely happy because it did not disappoint. It's a story about two married couples, Ben and Helen, who seem to be in a happy relationship. Some might say they are too happy. But their happiness won't last for long because Ben right here starts questioning his wife after some series of events which will make anyone feel and think that their partner was cheating on them. And this is where the stereotype shaker comes in play because here you have a faithful man who feels no need to subscribe to that bad mentality that every African man is a cheat. Rather, for the first time in cinema, the woman is considered the cheater, the cheat, the cheat, she cheats, you, you shall get. But one thing that's shocking about this movie is when a lady cheats, she doesn't play half court, she plays the full court. Like this babe got flowers delivered to her from another guy and her husband was watching. And it did not end there because every time they had any intimate moment, it was always stopped by a phone call from another man. And she was like, it's work. Stop the cap. <laughs> And if that was not all, even on his birthday, she was nowhere to be found. Can you even imagine that? Prince, what makes this story unique if she's a cheat? Just a normal story. What if I told you guys that she was never cheating on him, but what happened was that he thought she was cheating on him, and then he cheated on her with his PA. What the Boom! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's so funny how the stereotype came back to us. <laughs> But this is where the story gets more interesting because at first he thought he was equalizing but nah, my guy was playing by himself. But while sleeping with her, he became a haunted man. I'm not even lying. His PA wants him by all means. And when I say by all means, I mean by all means. The love triangle, even though it sounds hot, is something nobody wants to be in. His wife starts suspecting him and the roles now change because at first he was suspecting, now she's suspecting him. His PA becomes crazily in love that she would go to any length to keep him, even do her makeup like Joker at one point. I, I don't even know what was happening here. And that's literally the basis of the movie without giving away too much because a lot happened. I mean it. A lot happened. Now let's talk a little bit about the high points and the low points of the movie. The sound and cinematography were good for the time this movie came out. They had subtle cinematic shots that really gives you an idea on how passionate the team behind the movie were. I think I'll select just one scene that I feel depicts how much the directors, the producers loved this movie. What happened here was after he realized she never cheated on him, you see him bothered about what he just did and then he eats for a solid 30 seconds and after that proceeds to watch TV. And the crazy part was no sounds were added to these scenes. And this is just indirectly telling people how heavy his actions has been that he doesn't even want to be distracted by his phone. And I like that. Yeah, you guys might say, Prince, it's not that deep. But I rate anyone that tries to portray a scene that we've seen in countless movies in a different way. You see, for me, I would have slapped the most obnoxious song to invoke feelings from the viewers, and it would look like this. So what really stood out for me was how the story was told. It had mystery and an unpredictable ending. Because to be honest, this type of movie where the partner is cheating is not unique in any way. Look at this guy. He single-handedly popularized this whole genre of movies. Darling, 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 darling,
Now let's talk about the low points. If you are not interested in seeing some raw sexual scenes, this is probably not for you. But I'm a big boy and I love it, so I'm gonna watch it either way. I'm dancing. <laughs> and I hated that we did not see more of a younger Maoli because I really liked how he looked. He looked so skinny. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can beat him now. I can beat him now for stealing all my babes. I'm not even lying. But the question in everyone's mind is, was she also cheating? Uh, you have to watch it on the ATL TV app. Yes! I'm not telling you the ending. Go and watch it. Guys, what's better than 1,000 naira? 50,000. What's better than 2 MB? You already know. 1.5 gig. What's better than a toy phone that you bought when you were 5? A real phone. Level up, man. All I just mentioned is what Airtel said they will be giving people who download the app. All you need to do is download their movie app using my link and you stand a chance to win this. And again, the movies are free. Thank you, Airtel, for sponsoring this hungry YouTuber. And yes, this movie actually needs a part two because the ending would make you beg for more. <laughs>